What's up, family status? I hope everyone's having a great morning, great evening, great afternoon. Today, we're going to give you an update on our Meyer Lemon Tree in Zone 7B in a 15 gallon container. Check out our Meyer Lemon Tree in Zone 7B in a 15 gallon container. Beautiful. This is what it used to look like when we first got it. Look at it now. All this lush new growth. No yellowing. Looking happy and healthy. We purchased our mind lemon tree on May 6th. So it's only been two months since we had our mind lemon tree. And believe it or not, we have only watered our mind lemon tree twice in two months only twice the reason for only watering our my lemon tree twice is because we did not want to make the beginner mistake and over water our tree depending on where you're located you may have to water your my lemon tree more than twice in two months because we're located in zone 7b and we've been getting a nice amount of rain so you know depending on if you're in New Mexico or Arizona, you may have to water a lot more than two times. But I just said that to let you know that you don't have to just keep watering and watering and watering and watering every day. The next thing you know, you drown your roots and your plant is looking sick and yellowing and leaves are falling off. And you don't know what's going on. You don't know if it has enough fertilizer. You don't know if you have some kind of bugs eating your my lemon tree. You don't know what's going on. And the only thing you did was overwater. Overwatering is one of the biggest mistakes for us new gardeners. That's why underwatering your my lemon tree is way better than overwatering. You can clearly see when it needs water. It'll literally start drooping down. It won't be perked up like this. You want to make sure your soil has great drainage because my lemon trees hate wet and soggy feet. And another thing, make sure your container has holes at the bottom. We can't wait to take cuttings of our my lemon tree. We just purchased the alloy plant to help us with our cuttings. We'll talk about that in another video. How your alloy plant can help you with cuttings. When we first got our Meyer lemon tree, it had little lemons on it. We took those right off so it could focus on getting bigger and stronger. So it can hold and produce those Meyer lemons with no problem. You don't want to keep those little lemons on the tree because your Meyer lemon tree will focus more energy on producing fruit. And the only fertilizer that we use since we got our Meyer lemon tree is Dr. Earth Pure Gold. And the NPK on Dr. Earth Pure Gold is 222. What's NPK? NPK means nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And the numbers 222 are how high or low those levels are for those nutrients so if you get fertilizer make sure it's low in mpk so you won't risk the chance of burning your myelin tree you know especially when you're a beginner because you don't know how much or how little to put so you see the amount of dr earth pure gold we used in our video that's the only fertilizer that we've used we haven't applied any more fertilizer since that video and check it out we think less is more when it comes to using fertilizer you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overfeed and burn your plants. Remember, plants will survive and thrive without us. We need plants and trees to survive. Some good fertilizers to use for your Meyer lemon tree. Down to earth citrus fertilizer. You can also use organic worm castings. You can use Job's organic citrus fertilizer. Or you can use Dr. Earth Pure Gold, the same fertilizer that we use. S-T-H-E. E-U-L-E. -E. That is right. Jealous. Jealous? J-E-A-L-O-U-S. That is correct. Bell Journey. J-O-U-R-N-E-Y. You are right. Now try. Butcher. That is correct. Bell rhythm. R H Y T 
tip for growing myelin trees is to use some type of mulching on the top of your myelin tree. We use grass clippings, but you can use wood chips, pine straw, wheat straw, whatever kind of mulching you have available. The reason why we mulch our myelin tree with grass clippings is because it keeps the roots from drying out and it also provides our myelin tree with nitrogen. Our myelin tree is going to have the perfect structure when it gets big. That's another advantage of buying your myelin tree small. Instead of buying one of those three, four, or five foot myelin trees with that long skinny branch just ready for an accident to happen. Soon as a hard storm or some hard wind comes, snap, no more myelin tree. So that's the advantage of buying your myelin tree small. And another advantage is you can watch it grow. We're not in a rush to have my lemons. We're just more worried about making sure our my lemon tree is nice and healthy so it can produce a lot of my lemons. Check it out, it's gonna have so many branches. Like anybody can do it. We purchased our my lemon tree from Stark Brothers for $20 with sale tax and shipping. It came up to be $35. And it came very well packaged. So that's an A plus for Stark Brothers. Our Myelin Tree came very well packaged. And like I said, they gave us the perfect cutting of a Myelin Tree because this came small with a lot of branches ready to grow. So we can have a perfect structure. I wonder how big our Myelin Tree is going to be by the end of summer. What's your guess? This tall? Or well, it's gonna be that tall. What you think, guys? Let us know in the comment section. Right now, our mile limit tree is 17 inches tall. Can't wait to give you guys another update and see how much progress and how much growth we'll have from now. Our kitchen scrap compost is definitely one of the reasons why our mile limit tree looks so happy and healthy. Because in our kitchen scrap compost, we had banana peels. Apple scraps, cucumber scraps, cardboard, coffee grounds, eggshells, a lot of organic nutrients for your plants. We get so excited just thinking about we'll be able to look back on our videos and say, remember when our Myer Lemon Tree used to look like this? <laughs> and then one day we'll be harvesting lemons off our Myer Lemon Tree. Can you believe that? Like, that's going to be an amazing feeling to be able to watch our Myer Lemon Tree come from this and grow into that. What's up, Birdman? You patrolling the Meyer Lemon Tree? Thank you, I appreciate that. So if you wanna grow your own Meyer Lemon Tree, just remember, sit back, relax, and don't stress, and let the Meyer Lemon Tree do the rest. Don't overwater, don't over fertilize. We need plants to survive, they don't need us. Mm -hmm.